What's up YouTube, it's your boy EV Skate back with another video. Today is day number 26 in the 40 day video challenge. We are quickly approaching the end. I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is potentially adding some more days to the 40 day challenge. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm not too sure about it yet, but I think I'm going to. Let me know what you guys think about that. Anyway, day number 26 today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That being said, let's stop messing around. Let's jump into today's clip. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Take it easy. All right, guys. So I decided that with the release of minnows in the fishing guild, which requires the angler's outfit to get to, I would go ahead and bring out a fishing trawler mini game guide just to give you guys a, uh, a heads up on how to do the mini game to get your angler's outfit to be able to fish those minnows and get an insane amount of sharks per hour. Now, first off, you're going to want to get there. The fishing trawler mini game is located on the Port Kazard dock and the ways to get there are the Ardi Cloak, where you can teleport to the monastery and just run south. You can also use the fairy ring code DJP and run south from there. Or you can go to Port Sarum and pay 1,280 coins to a crew member to charter you straight to Port Kazat. In terms of requirements for the fishing trawler mini game, the only requirement is 15 fishing. Now, it is entirely possible to do the minigame by yourself, but it is a whole heap easier and a lot more AFK if you do it in a team. The official fishing trawler world is 370, and you will generally always find a lot of people there. So moving on to how to play the minigame, you're going to want to step onto the boat and head down to the bottom floor. Once you're down there, it's going to take a minute for the boat to leave. Then you're going to go out to sea with Murphy for 12 minutes with your team as well. And you're going to have to keep the ship afloat by patching the holes with swamp paste and bailing the water with buckets and fixing the nets with rope. I'll chuck up the recommended inventory now on screen, but you want to have 17 buckets 10 ropes and 1,000 swamp paste. Now make sure you get swamp paste and not swamp tar. I made this mistake the first time I jumped on and I had to go all the way back to the Grand Exchange to get some swamp paste. Swamp paste, not swamp tar. Now the best way to play this mini game is actually to let the water rush in to the boat and then just use your bucket to scoop the water out and get your activity levels up. This is definitely the best way to do it. You're gonna save money on swamp paste and you're still gonna be able to get your activity meter up. You're also gonna to wanna to have someone up on the top deck fixing up the net because that is the thing that is going to get you the fish. If your net is broken, you get no fish. And on top of that, if your net is broken at the end of your fishing trip, at the end of the 12 minutes, if your net is broken, you receive no rewards. You have a 0% chance of receiving anything if the net is broken at the end of the trip. So always make sure that the net is fixed. Now you have an activity bar. The number one most important thing while you're on the ship is to make sure that activity bar stays above zero. You gain points in your activity bar by bailing water patching up holes or fixing the net. If you reach zero at any point, you will be removed from the boat due to inactivity. One thing to note is that the activity bar does not affect your reward in any way. So if you have a red activity bar or a green activity bar at the end of the mini game, your reward will be the same. So once your 12 minutes is up and you manage to keep the boat afloat, you head back to land and you go search the net for your reward. Now, rewards, you have a 1 in 8 chance of each individual piece and you can't get duplicates. 
So one in eight chance of getting a piece, and once you have that piece, you cannot get the same piece again. Now as for the rest of the rewards, you can get manta rays, sea turtles, sharks, lobsters, swordfish, all the fish. Uh, in total, I was at 92 fishing when I did this for about eight hours. You're gonna make about 100K GP an hour. So the money is pretty negligible. The only real thing you're there for is the angler's outfit. Now the average game is going to take you 12 minutes plus your one minute waiting time. So 13 minutes, your average game. By average, I mean every game is gonna take 13 minutes. So if we take into consideration the fact that every piece is one in eight, that means we're gonna to need to play 32 games to go ahead and get ourselves the full angler's outfit on average, which comes out to be 416 minutes, which if we divide that by 60, means six hours, 56 minutes is the average time to get the angler's outfit. So actually closer to seven hours where a lot of people say six, the average time to get the angler's outfit is seven hours. And lastly, to wrap it up, one last quick tip I have is to, if you're in the fishing trawler world and there are too many people on the boat, this can happen. There are too many people for you to get your activity meter up and you're going to be removed from the boat. Then the best thing to do is organize with a bunch of other people on the boat to hop to another world. The ideal number of players on a boat is 10 this is going to be the perfect amount for bailing the water out as well as one person to fix the nets. So there you have it guys, short, sweet, really simple mini game. Just thought I'd chuck out a quick guide for you guys because I imagine a lot of people are going to be going for the angler's outfit now that the minnows are out. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget about the 40 day video challenge, new video every single day for 40 days in a row, 4 p.m. EST, so make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.